Hey guys, want to know how to save your breadfruit? Just make sure you put a pot of water to boil on the stove, then cut your breadfruit into half. It's just an easy method rather than throwing away your breadfruit. Don't know what to do with your breadfruit. Save it guys. Cut it into half like this. Open it. Then cut again. Just like this. What I love about this breadfruit is that it's not too green, it's not too ripe. It's just, you know, just the right breadfruit to go. Cut the heart out. Just like this, guys. Once you remove the heart, then just peel the breadfruit. It's not an overripe breadfruit. So you can see how easily it is to cut or to peel the breadfruit. Once you finish peeling the breadfruit, make sure you cut the breadfruit into desired pieces that you would want. I'm going to fry mine, so I decided to cut it into thin slices. You can also cut yours chunky, depends on what you're going to do with it. And it's preferably cut this way before boiling and freezing so that after freezing it would not be mushy. Soak in a bowl with water and salt for about 15 minutes by which time the water is going to boil. Once the water boils remove the breadfruit from the salt water and place it into the pot with boiling water and just boil for five to eight minutes once it's done remove it place it into a strainer and you want this breadfruit to be completely cool once it's cooled down place it into your freezer bag any type of plastic bag and freeze and at this time once you freeze your breadfruit whenever you need to cook it make sure you get a pot of boiling water and place the frozen breadfruit into the pot of boiling water just for about five minutes before use so here you have it guys all frozen and nice and this is how you preserve your breadfruit for the next meal all right so give it a try and join us see you in my next video